Hello, can I help you? Oh, yeah. Hi, I'm Adi. Is Stacey at home? Oh, no, she's not home yet. Okay. I think I might be a little bit early to rise and meet the seven. Well, she's normally home by now. I'm sure she'll only be in a minute. <laughs> do you want to come in and wait? No, I'm fine. I can wait in the car. Oh, don't be silly. It's cold out there. <laughs> Stacey will be back soon. I'll give her a call, see where she is. Take a seat. Thank you. <laughs> so. Addy. Addy. It's so bad for me. What are you two doing tonight? I think I'm just going to go catch a film, maybe get something to eat. Have you two known each other long? About nine months. We met while travelling in Asia. Oh, are you went travelling too? Yeah, I took a year out to travel. Started off in Europe, ended up in Asia. Nice. <laughs> so are you um, from here or...? Here? As in London or um Yeah, I live in West London. Oh <laughs> Mum, Abby, how come you're here? Oh Stacey, don't be so rude. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm just you're early, you're gonna meet at seven. Oh, there's no harm done. <laughs> you're here now. <laughs> okay, well I'm just gonna change my top, then we can go. Oh no, there's no rush. <laughs> but we were just getting to know each other. <laughs> Adeki was telling me about how you met. When were you going to tell me about your friend? My boyfriend, Mum. Your boyfriend? Oh. Well, this is a surprise. Um, well, you two are a couple. Have you told your dad? No. Okay. Adefi. You didn't really tell me about yourself. I mean, <laughs> have you got a job? Yeah, I work in banking. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> It's just that people like you, they don't normally have a job. Mom. No, no, what I meant was people, young people like you, don't normally have a, one. Are you ready? Yeah. Please don't go. Look, I, I don't mean to offend you. I'm sorry, I, I'm, I'm just a bit shocked. Cece doesn't normally introduce me to her boyfriends, and I always thought that when she did, that he would be... Why? Well, don't say it like that. Well, it's true. I know what you and Dad are like. Is this a new thing? Oh, no, Mum. Oh. I like black guys. Actually, I just like guys. I don't care about their colour. Well, you go travelling for a few months and you come back all... cultured. Oh, I can't believe you're saying this. You know, as soon as you came back, you wanted to go hiking in Africa. Is that because of... No, Mum! I loved travelling. But me going out with Abby has nothing to do with him being black. We love each other. That's <laughs> all that matters. <laughs> oh, don't be silly. It's just a load of hormones. This is why I didn't tell you sooner. You think all black people are the same? Oh, it isn't true. I just think you can do better. With all due respect, Miss Hunt, you don't know me. I'm a financial analyst at one of the biggest banks in the country. I don't have any kids, I own my own car, and I live with both my parents, and yet I still have to act. At work, I'm just Addy, just in case no one can pronounce my actual name. I'm the Addy that's non-confrontational. I have to smile every time I step in so no one thinks I'm a threat or intimidating. I cut my hair short so I don't look unkept. I don't use slang because that will make me sound too hood. 
I have to work twice as hard as my counterparts just to get a promotion. I have people comparing their tans to my actual skin colour. And I have co-workers that make undertone ignorant remarks and I have to act like it don't affect me. Do you know how hard it is to think about those things constantly? I can tell you're getting upset. Are you getting nervous, Mrs. Hunt? There's no need to be. I'm just telling you things from my perspective. I mean, as soon as you found out that we were dating, you judged me based on the colour of my skin. You probably thought I was uneducated or a part of some guy. Sad, really. I mean, I'm sorry if your daughter's choice and boyfriend offends you. It's just a sign that racism is as much alive today as it has been. Racist? I'm not racist. I have... Black friends. It was nice meeting you, Miss Hunt.